Greetings. Welcome to our official YouTube channel Petaka Technologies. In this video, let's see how to use quick measures in Power BI desktop. You can use quick measures to perform common powerful calculations quickly and easily. A quick measure runs a set of data analysis expressions comments behind the scenes then presents the results for you to use it in your report you don't have to write the dax it's done for you based on your input you provide in a dialog box there are many available categories of calculations and ways to modify each calculation to fit your needs. Perhaps best of all, you can see the DAX that executed by the quick measure and jumpstart or expand your own DAX knowledge. In this video, I am going to use the sample data which is available in Power BI. To download the sample data, select Try Sample Data Set and choose Load Sample Data for importing sample data into your Power BI desktop. It will ask to select the sheet which you want to import to your Power BI desktop, either financials or sheet 1. I will select sheet 1 to import from sample data to Power BI desktop and select load to load the sample data. In case if you want to do any changes in the source data, you can use transform button and it will take you to the Power Query editor. Then you can do the necessary transformations. In this example, I am not going to do any transformation in the source data. So I will directly load the data using load button. This is our sample source data. It contains around 700 rows data related to financials. Using this source data, I am going to write a quick measure for few calculations. To create a quick measure in Power BI desktop, go to Table Tools tab and select Quick Measure from the menu that appears. When you select Quick Measure, the Quick Measures window appears, letting you select the calculation you want and the fields to run the calculation against. Select the select a calculation field to see a long list of available quick measures. There are seven quick measure calculation category types with their calculations are first one is aggregate per category. It contains Average per category, Variance per category, Maximum per category, Minimum per category and last one is Weighed Average per category. And second category is Filters. It contains Filtered Value Calculation, Difference from Filtered Value Calculation, Percentage Difference from Filtered Value Calculation and Sales from new customers calculation. Third category is time intelligence category. It contains calculations like year to date total, quarter to date total, month to date total, year over year change, quarter over quarter change, month over month change and rolling average. Fourth category is totals. 
it contains calculations like running total total for category and total for category filters which is not applied and next category is mathematical operations it contains calculations for addition subtraction multiplication division percentage difference correlation coefficient and last one is text category it contains star rating concatenated list of values in the quick measures window under calculation select average per category drag average of profit from the field span into the base value field and segment category in the category field now select drop down arrow next to average of profit it will list out the available aggregation options like average of value minimum of value maximum of value and count the value then select okay when you select okay several interesting things happen the dax formula for the quick measure appears in the formula bar the quick measure appears selected and highlighted in the field span a great advantage of quick measures is that they show you the dax formula that implements the measure when you select a quick measure in the field span the formula bar appears showing the dax formula that power bi created to implement in the measure the formula bar not only shows you the formula behind the measure but perhaps more importantly let's you see how to create the dax formulas underlying quick measures imagine you need to filter the data only for 2013 but you are not sure how to structure the tax formula or you have no idea where to start instead of banking your head on the desk you can create a quick measure using the filtered value calculation and see how it appears in your visual and how the dax formula works then you can either make changes directly to the dax formula or create a similar measure that meets your needs and expectations it's like having a teacher that immediately responds to what if questions you ask with a few clicks in calculation field select filtered value and drag sales from field to base value and drag year from field to filtered field and provide the parameter for filtering the data in this data we have 2013 and 2014 as parameter let me select only 2013 to get filtered data and select okay you can see the dax formula to filter the data you can always delete quick measures from your model if you don't like them that is easy as right clicking or selecting the next to the measure and select delete from model you can also rename a quick measure whatever you like by selecting rename from the menu the new quick measure appears selected and highlighted in the field span a card is a good way to display these filtered measures select card from visualization span and drag sales for 2013 quick measure 
and place it in fields. Now we can see the card visual which contains the sales data only for 2013 and it excluded 2014 data. That's it. We have successfully created the quick measure in Power BI desktop. If this video helpful to you, like this video and share this video with others. Ask your questions or share your feedback in below comment section. That's all for this video. To watch more videos like this, visit our official YouTube channel Petnakar Technologies. To book your slot for online training, visit our official website petnakartechnologies.com. To get notifications on upcoming videos, subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.